Hey Steve, for the Wave of Futures here and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday or we get together we talk about some new exciting or just different tech in the FPV world, well mostly every Tuesday. It's been a little while but today something special has come up. It is Tuesday and it is some very, very cool tech. Now I want to pose you this question. How many times have you been flying around? You might be enjoying your micros like the Lava X which I've got right here which is absolutely insane and you can go watch that video up there. It is blowing my mind. I'm having so much fun with that one but have you ever asked yourself you know what this would be so cool imagine if we could just have some hd on this and i know there's crafts out there like you know i've got the iflight cine b little thing or i've got the uh the cine can and all that sort of stuff those are great they're good for flying around filming hd but that's their main purpose and they don't really behave like the crazy bat out of hell freestyle drones that we want or the little crazy rippers they always seem to have sort of some limitation you're giving up an awful lot for hd well fear no more because today we have something pretty exciting the run Cam Split Nano 3 or the Run Cam Split 3, whatever it is, it's going to be linked down below. And essentially, this bad boy is an ultralight, a one board recorder that has a camera that's like the size of this. It is absolutely insane. I've already installed it in my Lava X. We're quickly going to put it on the bench, look at the text and the specs, and then we're going out to the field. And I want you to ask yourself, would you like to have this capability on your drone? If you could just record all your flights in HD at kind of like a tiny, tiny weight penalty. So look, I'm going to stick it on the scales right here. Here's my original one. Let's tear this off. Tear this off. I've got the egg cup on there, so uh, I can easily weigh this. So this is the old one. This is the Lava X without the uh, split three in there, and with a battery that's coming in at 75, 76 grams. Hopefully you can see that in the shot there. That's 76 grams. This one right here, I installed another VTX. It's got an external receiver, and it's also got the Nano Split Cam in here, and that is coming in. At, see if I can balance this just as well. 84 grams. I think it was that was like 76 to 84. That is kind of 80, yeah, bang on 84. So for like an eight gram weight difference, you're gonna be recording in some 1080p. Now, a big problem I've had with these in the past, when you go out flying around, the picture looks really lackluster in your FPV feed. Sometimes they've had latency, all that sort of stuff. I'm happy to say uh, that's not the case with this one. If we look at it, it only records in 1080. It doesn't do uh, like the 4K or anything like that, like the Tars Air, but they're much bigger. The camera is absolutely Absolutely microscopic. It was a super easy switch. So here's the original. Uh, I think that was just the original Nano in the Lava X, which is this camera right here. Here's the one I pulled out. It's exactly the same profile inside here. I've already put it in here, so I'm not going to be uh, taking it all apart because look, I did have to jam it down to make it all fit this, but it wasn't too difficult to get it in there. The boards are 20 by 20, and you can see the difference if I put it on the screen right here. This little blue part that's kind of sticking out. That's the uh, Nano Split 3, and of course, there's nothing in the uh, in the Lava X on the top there. So it does stick out a tiny bit more. I would like it if it could mount into the like toothpick style of frames if you just had some little cutouts because at the moment it can be a little bit difficult to mount in some very very tight circumstances i really have to cram it in here so that's something to consider but i'm sure if you've got a little bit larger craft uh you shouldn't have any worries especially because the camera is so small the camera is really nice to look through and some things i really love it's only got two buttons it's super simple there's an on off button which you never really need to touch which is this one and then you've just got your uh if you need to stop your recording you just press this little button and you are are all good now one thing i really love about this as well you put your sd card in there you power your drone on it just starts recording you can see it recording in the top of your fpv feed you don't have to worry about it you don't have to push any buttons to get it started and another thing i love if you're flying around your drone crashes your battery ejects or something like that it's still going to save your fpv footage and i know that can be one of the most frustrating things you might have an awesome flight and you forget to push a button and unplug oh the footage is gone don't worry that doesn't happen with this one now that's it on the bench like it's it's a little board camera i'll put a picture on the screen la -di da -di da it fits in this tiny little place. Fantastic. But now let's go out to the field, fly around, have some fun. And uh, I think you might be pleasantly surprised for a one board micro little cam that's like eight grams. Let me know what you guys think. So let's do it. Go have some fun in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field, recording straight onto the split. No idea how this audio is going to come through. Let's do it. Have some fun. A beautiful day and find out just how well it goes. And it's on the lava. Radio, here we go, on board, and first things first, yeah, the audio does kind of suck, but I am definitely not going to complain, especially when you see the footage we're about to get off this tiny little graph at the absolute minuscule weight of 8 grams, getting some full HD right here flying around, and this is kind of, like, I've been in this hobby from the start for a long time, and for me, this is... 
This feels like everything's kind of come together. We've got crazy little crafts that are heaps of fun, really fast. You can rip around, have an absolute blast, and now you can also record HD without really sacrificing too much, and you can show your videos off to your mate. I'm kind of just astounded. It feels like a bit of a special moment for me in this hobby where everything's come together, and you, you guys just jumping in now don't understand how much this is the sort of stuff we used to dream of when we wanted to go and fly around. I I can remember too, like flying little crafts around like 2015, 16. This was always a dream to try to get to this point, and now we're here. But enough nostalgia rambling. Let's talk about the camera itself, and I think you'll agree. Of course, look, it's not as good as a GoPro. GoPro is always going to be better, but the whole GoPro was probably heavier than this quad itself when you're ripping around. The colors are nice and vibrant. Look at those greens and blues. It's a very beautiful image watching this thing back. I am more than happy with it. You don't get any of the tears and the parts that are sort of up on the screen and some artifacts that tend to be in some of the other ones. I think it was like the Cat X Turtle or some of those had problems. And the part that's blowing my mind, it is so, so small. It's only got one board. It's easy to use. You don't need to have a double stack or a larger board or anything like that. It's got perfect, like, I, as far as I'm concerned, kind of a perfect image for me to watch back and share my videos with my friends. So if you've got a little craft out there and you think, gee, I wouldn't mind slapping something on this for like the $70 upgrade, it's definitely... For me, a worthwhile investment. I'm going to be keeping it on the lava and just having a little blast. And even if you don't use all the HD all the time, you're still going to be there when you do want to use it. And I feel like for the price, it's definitely a more than reasonable. And I'm kind of shocked that they can put it to such a small form factor. Now, look, it's not perfect on full throttle. You will notice what I like to call like a little ripple. So you can see some right there. And that's really about my only fault as well, and the microphone, of course. But honestly, if you're using uh, one of these onboard recorders, all the microphones suck. So if you want to do some sound recording, you definitely should get something else. But as far as I'm concerned, I am super happy with this thing. I'd love to know what do you guys think, what do you think about the picture quality and on such a little craft like the lava. Most, it's, it's just, I think you can kind of tell I am actually a little bit special. It's, it's a happy day. The tech's finally here when everybody can rip around have some cool flights with their friends and show them off. Not only, we don't have to watch hundreds and hundreds of hours of DVR flights anymore. So anyway, what we should do, actually, I'll show you the FPV feed as well. So let me cut over to what the FPV feed looks like, because that's important. Okie dokie, and here's some FPV feed, and you guys be the judge, and I've got to be honest, in my in my opinion, I was expecting maybe a little bit worse for something how small it is, the, I was expecting some latency, but I didn't really notice anything like that, maybe some top, top, top tier 1% racers might notice it, but I didn't notice it whatsoever, and I think for these little micros, it was absolutely more than adequate, and flying this thing around, I just felt like it, it, I didn't even really notice that it had a HD cam in there, which is exactly what you want, except for that tiny little red dot in the top right-hand corner. And I think that's a huge plus as well. You don't have some big obnoxious thing on the screen that's really irritating you and taking away from your FPV feed. All you've got is a little dot letting you know that it's recording, it's rock and rolling, and uh, yeah, you should just be having a great time. So what do you guys think about the colors, all that sort of stuff? Maybe there's a tiny little bit of noise in there. Look, i back on this DVR. I didn't really notice it when I was flying, so I don't know if that's just on the DVR side of things but overall for my flights ripping this thing around i think a lot of people are going to be more than happy the colors are nice and vibrant you didn't get any latency and it just i'm really happy at where the tech is so anyway and i think in a moment i crash it as well it's crazy it's getting some getting a bit carried away on this flight with the lava kind of i think i was getting up around the four minutes flight time let's cut to the end and you'll see exactly what happens almost bloody stood on the thing so here's the footage, check this out, I have a crash, and when I'm standing over it arming it, I'm trying to find out where it is, I don't realise it's right underneath me. <laughs> God. I was lucky I didn't stand on that, that was literally touching my boot, so anyway... Let's, uh, let's go home, check out the footage and see what it's like. Radio, there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday quick look at the Runcam Nano. And I just want to say, if you've got an awesome little freestyle drone or something that, look, I know it's not as good as a HD video recorder. The audio is a bit ordinary, but how often do you really use audio when you're out in the field? Most people put music or something behind their videos. But if you just want a tiny little camera that weighs next to nothing, it's small enough to fit actually inside even the smallest micros, this bad boy, I think, is 
actually gonna make a big difference to a lot of people. Now, I'm sure there'll be some people who disagree and elitists. I only record with GoPros on my Cine Bs and you know, I've got Hero Black, which is fine. Yeah, good for you, mate. Well done, that's fantastic. But I'm sure there's a big audience out there that a lot of people agree with. I just love flying my little freestyle drone and I just wanna have some fun with it. And if I can put a HD recorder on there with like the only weighs a few grams and I can come home and film some cool video and show my friends and they can see the flights that I'm doing, which looks much better than the DVR, then Absolutely, this thing is a definite winner. So hats off to the uh, guys over at Runcam. I think you've done a fantastic job. I'm gonna link this down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Definitely, if you haven't seen already, go watch the Lava X review because uh, it's few and far between when I get a drone that I cannot put down. That's definitely the case with the Lava. That's why I've ordered another one. They are one of the hottest squads right now. Absolutely destroying the air, having a lot of fun with it. It feels, it really, it just, it feels Freaking amazing. Go watch that Lava X video. That should have popped up there. It'll be in the description. Other than that, hopefully you've enjoyed this Tech Tuesday. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Put your comments down below. Run Cam, well done. What do you guys think about Run Cam? Is this something you'd put on your drone? And as always, happy micro HD recording and flying.